Hey there, Tony. It is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. So I figured this might be helpful in a couple ways. So not only just making a video of one of the vehicles that I had worked up with CJ, but more importantly, just kind of going over some of the features and specs of it. So that way you can better show it to your daughter. Now this trim again is going to be called the Preferred Plus. It does lease out a little bit better because as I mentioned, this trim does have an additional lease cast in which the Preferred would not. So some of the features that you're gonna pick up just right off the bat that I would say she's very much used to and accustomed from Acura is gonna be a lot of the safety tech. So I always point out up here in the front grill, these emblems are flat because this is basically a housing for sensor and radar and you'll see the camera up on the windshield. So all of your collision avoidance systems, your lane assistance with the corrective steer, pedestrian sense and cyclist detection, you'll have your full LED lights that can use high and low beams automatically, stop and go which will give the car the ability to drive in stop and go traffic. You'll even have not only rear but front cross traffic alert in case you're pulling out um, obviously your backup camera and then my personal favorite which is the blind spot system wheel wise you are going to have a standard 18 inch sort of spider spoke design wheel and then you will see that you have inline six stamped very something very very unique with these vehicles is mazda was targeting the mercedes gle and the bmw x5 during development so these are on a real wheel drive platform of course they're all wheel drive but the engine is an inline six turbo, which is going to be very German. So if you look at anything like BMW or Mercedes, you're gonna see that they use a damn near identical setup to their engines. And I will say the sound that you get out of it is actually pretty nice. Now, of course, lift gate wise, it is going to be power with height programmable. All wheel drive, as I mentioned, will be standard. And then kind of just walking up here, I'm just gonna grab the handle. Oops, actually the key's up in here. So let me click the unlock. You do have the advanced key with the keys in my hand. You can just grab the handle and it will unlock. And then interior wise, this is going to be that new interior, which is kind of a two-tone, which pretty cool with this interior is the maple wood. So you'll see that you have these large panels of maple wood that kind of go really nice up against the black and then some of the piping in the seat to match. And then you'll kind of see that there. Now, all of our stereo systems are designed by Pioneer. So you will have a nice audio and then you'll also pick up a heads up display in this particular trim as well wireless charging pad down there with some of your different drive modes. Let me just close this little flap for the cup holder. The screen itself is going to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless in this particular trim level. And then much like a lot of German vehicles, everything is gonna be controlled via this dial. You'll have a half digital, half analog uh, gauge cluster. You'll see your standard size sunroof. And of course, all of your seats, these are going to be heated up front. It is be an eight way power with excuse me, eight-way power with power lumbar on the driver, six-way power for your passenger. And then just clicking the unlock button and running to the rear seat here, you'll see back seats are obviously going to have their own climate systems. You'll have the shades that pull up and clip up. This configuration, pretty much all of them are going to be the seven-seater but captain seats in the second row. So you'll see you have a split seating here in the second and then three seats here into the third row that you can see there. You'll also pick up third row charging in this particular trim that you'll see there and third row ventilation. You'll see that you do have air vents right here that allow ventilation for the third row. And I do believe we are one of the only ones in the class that actually has HVAC for the third row. But again, this is just sort of a, a little taste of all the features and design and just figured this might be a little bit helpful to you both. As always, I appreciate the opportunity. And if I can assist you in any way tomorrow, just give me a heads up and I'm happy to help. Thanks again.